Hey everybody, welcome back to Nika Brothers. Another beautiful, crispy, cold morning out here at Copart. We have about 300 cars playing today, but unfortunately I wasn't able to tell you how much the other two cars went, so a quick recap on that. The 2021 GMC Sierra 1500, basically just go on autoastat.com and you can check what the cars went for if you missed it, because that happens sometimes. I was really excited about that 2022 Chevy Silverado, so I got that one and I was really happy with that and just kind of forgot about the other two. I was like, whatever. But I do want to reveal the prices for that. So that GMC went for $32,500 was the final bid. That's the one the VIN numbers were scratched off and everything. So still 32 grand. I mean, it's definitely worth a lot of money. That's a nice truck, but wow, that's, that's a whole chunk of change to put on there. And you may be able to register, it may not. That's pretty crazy. And then there was a 2019 Honda Civic Si. That thing was pretty sweet and it went for 11,300. So definitely a high dollar for a Honda Civic with damage but hey that's really nice a lot of horsepower you guys are leaving comments that's actually pretty rare that's a nice one for sure but today's a new day let's go find something new all right first one on our list is this 2022 Dodge Challenger dang this thing is definitely hit hard I'm not probably even gonna play it. I just looking at it for you know informational purpose research only window shopping I guess just kind of see how much one of these would go the newer style this actually played many times, looking at Auto Astat again. So over 12, 13 times this thing has already been on the auction, playing, playing, playing. And it's still pretty crazy how much they're going for. So look at all this damage. You got the firewall over there destroyed. I mean, it's not just a parts replace. This one definitely took a hard hit, but it does have that nice SRT engine in there. Look at that hammy. So a lot of power, but Man, there is damage all around on this thing. And it says bio, front glass smashed. Dang. So this thing has less than 3,000 miles on it. And believe it or not, it is still a clean title. Look at that bumper inside. So I can't really get in, in there, but you see the airbag is deployed. A whole bunch of stuff, dash airbags blown, probably all the seats and all that good stuff. So that's pretty crazy and it went for over $24,000 once didn't let it go a dealer's reselling it which isn't a big deal that's just part of the game sometimes dealers sell cars too that's fine but clean title less than 3,000 miles on it so much work I think that's pretty crazy it's probably gonna go for over $20,000 again this time I don't know definitely a big project for somebody so here in our local upstate South Carolina yard over 300 cars are playing this one is also playing, but a little hard. A lot of work. I'm looking for a quick flip. I'm looking for some parts for the other cars. So, you know, I just want to squeeze something in. So, always staying busy. And there's plenty of opportunity here. As much work as you want. But you got to do your research and hopefully get a good deal. Because you can do a lot of work, but it doesn't mean you can make money. That's part of Copart. Let's find ourselves another project. I've seen this Mustang up for sale soft top convertible definitely not the season for it but i think it's like buy it now for four thousand dollars which isn't bad still a nice little mustang just a little worn out for sure yeah it's rough it's hard to resell with so much little things going on let's keep going find some little newer Next one that's playing today is this 2020 Ford Mustang GT with some front end damage. So you can tell right there, bumper got hit, pushed out a little bit, but that headlight looks even fine. Not bad at all. Love the 5.0, definitely awesome. I hope they keep making them. Still got power, airbags deployed. So just one so far I see. Seatbelt didn't even lock up. And we got ourselves a straight drive, very nice. Not bad so far. Tail lights are turning on. We got the power, like I said, which is pretty awesome because it is a little frosty out here. It's hard to tell on the body, but it looks pretty good. Let's pop that hood and start it up. So this is a run and drive and the current bid is already $9,000, which makes sense. Got a little something going on right here, missing things. Oh yeah, that sounds great. Lights we have on the dash. Not too bad. I mean, just airbag light, no check engine light. Need some gas. Just a little bit, a little gas. Let it warm up. Definitely cold. Pretty sweet. I like the carbon fiber trim on there. It's 
it's not bad. It's got like a leather slash cloth hybrid. It's got the heated and cooled seats. This thing is definitely nice. I like it. Nice big old V8 right there, 5.0, pretty sweet. This side is looking not bad at all. Nice. So headlight did get busted, but that's okay. Pillar looks good. I mean, the frame rails are nice. It's not that bad. Not that bad at all. Rebar, reinforcement bar in the front a little bit, but overall it's not. It's still got some radiator fluid, so that's good. Definitely good potential. We'll see how much it goes for and if it's worth playing and picking up, taking home. So checking the history on it, because honestly, guys, that is definitely important to get the full picture of what's going on. You know, what happened to it, how it come here in Copart. So this one was actually sold before for 16200 final bid, and the dealer's reselling it, which isn't bad. That's just reality. Sometimes people buy things and put them back on Copart. It's not just insurance selling, so you have to watch out for that. It's not always a bad thing. It's just, hey, he wants to make a little more or something else is going on, and they put it back on Copart. So just checking it out. You just have to know what's going on before you bid it and win it. I think it's just from the insurance auction or just had an accident, but it looks like they just put the bumper back and putting it back in Copart, which totally fine. We'll keep an eye on it, but let's keep going. Ooh, that thing's pretty. Definitely one of my favorite cars, but it's not playing today, so we're not gonna worry about it. Let's keep going. Definitely the season to buy yourselves a motorcycle right now. They're probably going cheap, but then you gotta store them and wait for the season to come back. So it's a different type of investment, which I don't really wanna do right now. I got some other cars I'm interested in, but a lot of cool buys here for sure. Let's keep going. And here we go, guys. The next truck that I wanna look at is this 2021 Ford F-150. Very nice. I mean, already you could tell backup sensors, backup camera. You got the step in the tailgate, which is pretty sweet. Lots of options. This is a nice one. This is the good side, <laughs> but you got a couple scuffs here and there. This side, that side, definitely gotta watch out for that. Oh, man, it's locked, but good thing the window is open or gone. So we could tell inside that the airbags did not deploy. Pretty crazy. It probably was parked or something hit it. You can tell by the wood inside. In the original pictures, you could see it going through the glass. So it just probably was sitting there and got hit by a container or something. I don't know. But inside's not bad at all, guys. It's pretty sweet. I like the little center console piece. Look at that big old screen. Definitely nice. But let's talk about the bad. So it's an XLT. We got some damage in the front. It didn't look too bad in the pictures, but dang, that's kind of a hard hit right there, guys. Yeah, that's messing with the frame already for sure. This, this is all pushed back. Man, that's unfortunate. Definitely worse than I thought. Being an EcoBoost, there's a lot of radiators, shutters, a lot of parts in the front that get damaged and are very expensive. It's surprisingly hard lead time. Dang, because I know like this shutter itself could be like six to $800 and on back order, out of stock, blah, blah, blah. Grills, computers, sensors. Dang. Another shutter down there. Which is, they're nice and all, but man, they're they're spendy and check engine lights and all that fun stuff. These headlights aren't cheap as well. And we got a lot more damage on this side. I don't know if you can tell right there, but that's the outer tie rod end hanging out. So this whole wheel's probably just flopping around. You need a knee assembly, fender, door. What else? Kind of moving down. Pillar's bad. That's just ripped off. It's pretty, pretty thin. Aluminum, I guess, or steel. It's hard to tell, but I think that's all aluminum. Bad right there. Come to the rear tire. At least springs look okay. At least that didn't get shifted. Probably just a flat tire. But it's worse than I thought. It didn't look too bad in pictures. It looked kind of bad, but not too bad. But it's already at ten thousand dollars. And this is not a quick flip or a quick project, so I'm gonna move on. But hey, we'll make sure to watch it live and see what it goes for. Let's keep going. Oh, yeah, this ram's playing today. Let's check it out. See what's why it's here and what the damages are. So we got ourselves a 2017 Ram 1500 5.7 V8. So it's pretty sweet. But this is a clean title, minor dents and scratches has 160,000 miles on it. That's probably why it's here in Copart. 
getting up there in the miles. We got some nice Michelins on there, so somebody invested money into it. It's pretty sweet. I'm looking over the body, a little rest right there. I mean, so far it does look like minor dents and scratches. Another little dent right there. We got the big old four doors. It's a nice Ram for sure. It's a nice truck. Let's start it, see what it sounds like. It is a run and drive. No airbags deployed. Looking good. We got some power, which is awesome. Wow. Start right it up. ABS light is on, service trailer brake, so maybe a couple of wires or speed sensor or something going on there. We'll have to figure that out, but four-wheel drive, pretty sweet. You got two sets of keys. I mean, this thing sounds very healthy. Parker brake engaged. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, wow, not bad. Definitely worth playing and check it out. The engine sounds very healthy. Yeah, I got some oil stains over there. No big deal. For 106,000 miles, that sounds great. Somebody definitely took care of this truck. Nice. Could be a good find. Hopefully we'll pick it up. Here at Copar, you got great parts cars, great project cars, and honestly, some solid cars like that Ram. Basically don't need too much. Hey, sometimes you get Chevy, sometimes you get Fords. Today's Ram day. I got ourselves a 2018 Ram. 1500 looks like I hit a deer which is good it's like okay you know what happened need a bumper headlight fender might be fixed not too bad it's a run and drive probably bumped off hit the door 118,000 miles on it we got some power man we're we getting lucky with that today seat belt locked up current airbag went off driver's seat went off as well but not too bad Let's see what it sounds like left front turn signal out makes sense wow just the airbag light but no check engine light no abs lights pretty sweet nice little truck for sure sounds very healthy v6 but 3.6 liter it's not bad good on gas i mean you're not hauling anything crazy it's still a good truck for sure application well, it depends what you're using it for sounds really good Fender looks fine. And the plastics are good. Literally pop a headlight in. Bumper. Very light damage. Let's check around, make sure there's no hidden damage. Looking around, I don't see any other dents, scratches, dings on it. Nice little bed. Scratch right there, but no big deal. Check the history on it. Didn't play before. Insurance selling it. Everything checks out. We'll see. Maybe things will go cheaper today because it's cold. Or maybe everybody's trying to buy some. Start of the week. Who knows? Maybe we'll pick it up. All right, guys. There we go. Just like that. I got myself another Ram. Pretty cool, should be pretty simple. I'm gonna drive it back to the shop, just missing a headlight, but it's daylight, so it should be fine. It's not a long road trip anyway, and just down the road, so let's go ahead and head back to the shop and see if we get, some, get ourselves some headlights. Not bad so far, very smooth. No lights in the dash, except for the airbag light that's on because the current airbag. But all, honestly, awesome, really happy about it. I mean, kind of makes sense, the guy hit a deer, headlight popped out, salvage title, but moving forward. All right guys, made it back to the shop, no problem, easy as that. Got myself a nice truck. I'm gonna see how much headlights are, trying to get that figured out, but really quick, let's go ahead and see how much those other cars went for. Check out the prices before we forget about them. Yeah, let's get that done too. Okay, first one that we looked at was the 2020 Ford Mustang. Actually, it was really nice. I liked it. It was pretty clean. So basically, it sold for 
12,100. It's at autoastat.com. Get all the information. So first time it sold for 16.2. And then it went for 14, this time 12. So ugh, they're losing money. It's probably going to play again. They're probably not going to let it go, which is fine. Makes sense. Honestly, a cool little car. All right. So this 2017 Ram 1500, honestly, I liked it. It wasn't too bad. It did have minor dents and scratches. Yeah, that traction control light, some about trailer brakes. So maybe little little things here and there, but hey, it's a V8 5.7 4x4. Really nice, kind of higher miles, 164. But the final bid was 4,500, which I think that's a good deal, honestly. I think there's definitely enough meat in the bone to make some money on top of that. So not bad. Yeah, might've been some issues here and there, but clean title, I think it's a good price but unfortunately I didn't get it. Moving right along to this 2022 Dodge Challenger. I mean, this thing is definitely wrecked. I mean, it was pretty bad all around. There's things happening. Pretty crazy that it's still clean title. I just didn't see that coming, but already played 11 times and today it went for 19.6. So not sold for 24.1, all the way down to 19.6. So just 19.7, 19.7. Not letting it go, they want to get a little bit more out of it. I mean, they're definitely worth a lot of money fixed and being clean title still worth fixing it, but that is a lot of work and big project that I'm not gonna tackle this time. And there's that 2021 Ford F-150 that I actually really wanted to pick up because it didn't look crazy, crazy bad, but that is definitely pushed in there. That whole front end has shifted over <laughs> that piece of wood I was talking about. But overall, really nice. Airbags didn't deploy, 50,000 miles, high package. This, this thing's really nice but just a little too much for what i wanted but checking check auto a stat so one auction fifty thousand miles run salvage title that makes sense final bid 11 3. that's not that's not horrible honestly it's definitely a bigger project so it's still pending they didn't let it go we'll see what happens to it but hey guys we'll leave a link down below for auto a staff if you ever need to check out vehicle history before you play stuff on copart we highly recommend it and you get a discount going through us too so check it out and there we go guys our 2018 ram 1500 winning bid was 7700 so basically that's how much we won it for got some headlights for 100 bucks just an aftermarket pair that i found real quick still need a bumper but not a bad fine not a bad day honestly pretty easy pretty quick this thing turned out pretty clean so after fees and everything ended up being eight thousand seven hundred and forty eight dollars out the door basically that's how much my 2018 ram cost me run and drive it still has the airbags deployed and that front bumper need to be replaced so that's later got to order those parts not gonna be done today but i think it was a good day fishing in the automotive world you know going out there trying to find some good deals and got myself a truck so pretty happy about that should be a quick flip so we'll see, but you know, there's more projects coming on for sure too. We're trying to get some really big projects coming soon. So make sure you subscribe guys, hit that like button, leave some comments down below, but that's all the time for this video. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.